art is a wonderful means of communicating feelings and memories. And our first featured artist has created this charming view of motherhood, a blissful moment of rest while the young ones play, entitled Time Out. Dave Merrick is a world-renowned artist with many of his works featured in galleries throughout the U.S. and abroad. He has mastered the ability to create an exact likeness of the subject, yet at the same time capturing the feeling of their personality. His work entitled Time Out is a wonderful example of his special style. Dave Merrick has his studio in the heart of Canyon City in a unique old bank building where he enjoys spending his time and talent doing what he loves. I really enjoy doing likenesses and I guess that's the specialty of my artwork is that not many portrait artists can capture likenesses as closely as uh, people really want. It takes a real special portrait artist to do um, uh, a likeness and not only a likeness but beyond a likeness so it not only looks like the person it feels like them. I'm going to be doing some uh, uh, a wildlife piece with uh, a mama wolf and three little cubs here in the front. I have some photos that uh, a wolf raising friend of mine gave to me and they're just some old photographs that I gleaned through. First I do my initial layout in a, in a real light charcoal to see where I want to go with it and kind of arrange my figures. Um, I've taken uh, the mama and put her in the, in the background here. She's, she's going to be sleeping. What I'm doing is uh, um, roughing in my values and making essentially just uh, the light and dark map of where my heavier colors should go as I begin my painting and my lighter colors should be. Animals are really big expressions of, they're extensions of people emotions. We impose on animals a lot of the emotions that we ourselves feel, and the animals may, may or may not be aware of anything but uh, emotionally that we're, we're about, but the animals are real simple and they're, and they're just, they don't choreograph themselves, they're real spontaneous, and they, whatever they feel, they show. They're like kids and they, animals can't fake it. That's why I like doing this. That's why I really I saw the charm in this piece perspectively in my head before I did it. Okay, what I'm doing now is just beginning to blend a little bit with my airbrush and get the colors in acrylic smoothed in with, uh, with the brush. Everything at this stage is a rough layout of the colors and textures and uh, the, just the feeling of the piece in general I want to establish it at this point. And I'll go back and take out some of these harsh lines with my gesso. So far, I've got my gesso background in and I have the animals roughed in. And now I'm going to begin the minutia or the detailing of the painting, which involves putting the, the hair of the animal's coat on. Years ago, I used to work for the railroad. And although I went to college, what I really wanted to do was ride trains, because that was kind of a fantasy I'd had since I was a kid. But while I was working for the railroad, I got paralyzed from the waist down. I was expected never to walk again. And so I knew I had to do something else to support my family. I had an art talent. I'd never had any training, but I started doing works of art.
There's a warmth about this piece that's uh, kind of a family piece. There's the mom and the three cubs, and they're laying in the shade, just kind of enjoying each other's company. Mom's trying to take a break. I wanted to do something um, for the people that are indigenous to my following here in Southern Colorado. A lot of my stuff is in California, New York, and for people out of state, but I wanted to do something um, to, uh, to basically honor the people of this area of the country, which is my home. I really enjoy the ability and the uh, opportunity to give back to Southern Colorado some of what Southern Colorado has meant to me. But the studio is a big uh, room with uh, a lot of light, a lot of white walls to reflect that light. This studio is a collection of a lot of the stuff that uh, people have given me through the years, the gas pump, the old Texaco sign. It's just a, a place where I can be myself. But to me, the big charge is the enjoyment that the people get that see my artwork. I love that. Most of my artwork involves faces of some sort. And the faces always center on the eyes because the eyes are the window to the soul. I don't just capture the animal. It doesn't just look like a dog. It looks like a dog's life which is what I'm trying to do, trying to emphasize uh, what that dog is uh, feeling. <laughs>